General Garza, I hadn't expected you here. Or Agent Bulger. The Senate situation is more complicated than I could explain via Hollow. I couldn't be certain my office wasn't being monitored. What I said before was accurate. The Senate has called a hearing to investigate the actions of Special Forces, Havoc Squad specifically. But what I couldn't say was that the Senator behind these proceedings is actually an undercover agent for the Empire. The entire hearing is a sham. How could the Empire possibly get an agent elected to the Senate? They didn't. They just bought someone who was already in place. We have the evidence right here. His name's Zion. He represents a tiny little rock in the middle of some very profitable trade lanes. With the help of Imperial Intelligence, Senator Zion has slowly gained influence. Now he's turning that influence against us. It's just another shot from dear old General Rackton. Zion gets Havoc suspended. Rackton gets the break he needs to turn the war back his way. What's our move? Arrest Zion? Not exactly. The military doesn't have that kind of authority. And detaining Zion would only fuel his accusations that we abuse our power. I want you to attend the hearing just as the Senate has asked. We can't risk him getting away. Go and conduct yourself respectfully. When it's your turn to speak, present the evidence the SIS has gathered. The Senate will have to investigate, and we'll be free to resume operations. Do we have a backup plan in case the evidence isn't enough? The evidence is indisputable. That won't be an issue. Remember, Senator Zion will do his best to paint you as a loose cannon. Don't do anything to prove him right. I'll be waiting in my office. Report back to me as soon as the hearing is complete. Dismissed. Have fun, Major. Welcome, Major. We appreciate you taking the time to come and respond to our concerns in person. Senator Zion, you may proceed. Thank you. As many of you are aware, Havoc Squad is widely considered to be the finest infantry team in the Republic military. Their reputation earns them a great deal of leeway, so much that they have become a danger to the Republic itself. My friends and colleagues, what is it that Havoc Squad actually does, day in and day out? Disturbingly, almost no one knows for sure. We all remember the mysterious disappearance of Havoc Squad's previous commander. No doubt, a crime was committed and covered up. And that nonsense with the so-called gauntlet superweapon. An astronomically expensive operation to destroy a science project whose danger was never substantially proven. And it was only after that reckless operation that the Empire attacked us with full force. Why wasn't the Senate consulted beforehand? I will end with this simple fact. Since the war broke out, Havoc Squad hasn't made a single trip to the front lines. If all of the Republic's battles are being won and lost without the help of our best team, then it's time we made changes. Thank you, Senator Zion. Major, if you'd like to make a response, you may begin now. My team is not a threat to the Republic, but traitors like Zion are. I have evidence here proving that Senator Zion is a paid agent for the Sith Empire. This is outrageous. Are we really going to tolerate wild accusations like this? The commander of Havoc Squad deserves more than to be dismissed out of hand. Preposterous. I called this hearing to present facts, not paranoid delusions. The imps paid you to shut us down. That's what this is about. Please, let's all remain calm. I see no reason we couldn't delay these proceedings momentarily to evaluate this new evidence. Guards, seal the area and allow no one to leave until we are prepared to reconvene. Senator Zion, in light of this evidence, I must order that you be detained by the Senate Guard pending charges for high treason. But this is insane! I'm no traitor! Whatever you've seen, it must be a forgery, some kind of military conspiracy. Please accept our apologies, Major. I hope you understand that you were called here with the best of intentions. You have a duty to ensure that we're acting in the Republic's best interest. That's right. And rest assured that your tireless efforts in the Republic's defense are greatly appreciated. Given the change in circumstances brought about by new evidence, I hereby adjourn this meeting immediately. Major, you're dismissed. Major, Lieutenant Mai, I'm General Garza's new assistant. It's a real honor to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Lieutenant. Could I see the General? I'm afraid General Garza had to leave. An urgent situation on Corellia. 
I can put you through to her via hollow if you like. That would be great, Lieutenant. One moment, please. Major, I understand our dilemma has been taken care of. Reports are already circulating about Zion's secondary income. Rackton could have buried us with this one. If the SIS hadn't come through, if you hadn't convinced the Senate to review their evidence, we would be finished. Well done. Catching traitors is just standard operating procedure. Hopefully, this will be the last traitor we have to deal with for a long while. Join me on Corellia as quickly as possible. General Rackton has taken the field personally. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. I'll get Havoc to Corellia on the double, General. I'll give you a detailed briefing after you touch down. Garza out. General Rackton? It sounds like you better hurry, Major. Good luck.